Good morning. Good morning, all. You know, if you're watching this video today on the 19th of April 2021, I have passed my AZ 900 fundamentals. And, you know, it was an easy exam. Hell no, it was not easy. It threw me off how difficult the exam was because I thought that because this was a beginner and beginner administrator that it would be simple simple multiple choice and what have you um yeah you know or ask basic just like basic fundamental questions what is this or how we define it was not not the case i had a few scenario questions what made it difficult was is that it you really needed to know the topics to a level that you knew you know like second nature how a relational database was, how um, you just needed to know your stuff. You know, it's kind of a blur at the moment because you know when you're in, when you're studying, when you're doing the exam and you focus. After you just finish the exam, and you pass. You know, all the memory just washes away. So anyway, that you know, you really need to know the topics that where you're studying. Obviously, I knew enough to pass. I wish my score. I got 710 out of 1,000. I wish it was, you know, my score was a lot higher than that because I just like to make sure that, you know, <clears throat> I exceed expectations. But nonetheless, before I continue, if you like what I'm saying, to help my channel grow and to help other people, it would be great if you can like and subscribe to my channel, especially if I'm adding value to you and you're seeing that, you know, I'm showing you a way how to pass your exams um, with me, then what will happen is, is that you get updates for everything else. I won't just be doing the Xur exams in the future. I will be moving on to like Kubernetes and then, you know, even the other cloud providers. So the Google AWS, um, you know, those, those other cloud providers, but you know, yeah. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. It's all about just helping everyone and helping everyone grow. And talk about helping everyone grow. I just want to point out one thing. And that is, is that you'll see some YouTube ads or you see some ads going for companies who are actually providing um, practice exams and saying that you're guaranteed to pass. I think that's more or less brain dumps. It's really important that you don't brain dump your qualifications and I'll tell you why because I started off my career in brain dumping my qualifications because to be honest with you that's how everything was back in the Windows NT days like 2005 2010 you know um, people who were employing um, persons with MCSC qualifications brain dumped those qualifications and they said well how quickly do you pass your qualifications oh I did mine in three months you did seven exams, seven intense exams in three months. People are like, that's impressive, you're hired. And when it came to people who were not brain dumping, who were doing it the hard way, labbing it, and you know, doing the books, the books were like so thick, like you know, a thousand pages per topic and stuff like that. And say, so how long did it take you to pass your exam? Six to 12 months. People were like, well, Tom over there did it in three. What did it take you six to 12 months? And you felt like saying because I did it properly, but it doesn't help. Anyway, just thought I'll let you know. Let's get back to DP900. DP900, it was 49 questions. There were drag and drop and some multiple choices. But in my opinion, you really need to know your stuff to pass the qualification. How long did it take me to do to study for the qualification? Two months. A month and a half, maybe, but let's run it off to two months. I dedicated an hour and a half every day. Well, two hours. So 30 minutes to get my head space cleared and get into it, into studying, and then dedicate an hour and a half into learning materials and practicing the questions, right? So just to recap, this is where I've actually gone to get those materials. So I simply just go to, um, you know, you could go to any web browser, type in DP900, look for the exam DP900, Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals, as it says here, and I'll provide a link for you below. Click on that bad boy, and you come here where you see the schedule exam. You browse down, and there you go. So you can see where I've completed 
all the topics. And the good thing about doing it here is that when you, if the topics were updated, you would see it move away from being green and completed to a percentage bar to say, this is how much more you need to be able to do to complete this module. So that's really important, okay? So yeah, I just went through this, study it, and this follows the syllabus. And trust me, if you know this inside and out, you will pass your exam. You will pass it. Now, with the WizLab Wiz scenarios, I'm just going to type in Wiz Labs here for you. I'm already signed in, just go Microsoft. Well, let me just take that because I just want to. I will show you the free, the free course. Just bear with me for a second. Right. So the free course is this is not the free course, but the free test practice where you can actually, if you log in or create an account, you'll be able to get free tests. Um, it's up to fifteen, and it lets you see and show you if you know your stuff. So. Here, you can read it for yourself. The common task responsibilities of data analysis is a <clears throat> finding hidden patterns using data. I pre I predid this so I could just speed this up for you. Now, the good thing about WizLabs is, is that it tells you why that question is correct thoroughly and more or less aligned with the syllabus of where you're studying. But more importantly, it shows you where you can actually get that information, back that up from an official Microsoft URL, you know? And it just, there you go, data analysis tasks and responsibilities. And you just read it through. And as you can see, I've already done this because it's part of the modules of, of where you are. Now, the, good, the thing about WizLabs is, is that it gets your mind ready for how, you know, looking at questions and answering questions and stuff like that, it is not a brain dump. It's the, the questions are not the same as what you find on official my, uh, Microsoft qualifications, uh, web uh, tests, exams, but it gets your mind primed, ready to be able to, you know, sit the exam for it with you. And it's really good. So those are the two things really, I did Wiz Labs, and I did the Microsoft online free training. I did it through Pearson View. What was that like? It's very, very simple. Um, just schedule, well, schedule it, pay. And when you're doing, doing the exam, you get this app on your phone. It says for you to take the pictures of your room and it says from the back to the left, to the right, to the front and you just sit in the queue ready for doing your exam. You need a solid Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is not working properly in your room, then there is this, um, you know, you need to be able to make sure that that's working. You should have a power connected into your, um, into your laptop, just in case if your laptop dies for some unknown reason, because batteries fail after some time, but that's about it. And then I have uh, my ID you need to, I have my driver's license, took a picture of that, sent it there. And yeah, that was it really. No hassles, no worries. They don't like you covering your mouth. They don't like you speaking out loud. And they don't like you mouthing the questions, like, you know, speaking it, but nothing's coming out. And that's about it. If you're looking around the room, the instructor wants to know why you're looking around the room or the practitioner, should I say. Um, so just, be accustomed of like if you're if you're trying to look away from your screen and look up rather than looking around the room or something like that that's about it but that is how to pass dp 900 folks get this material and thoroughly understand it read it and do your wiz labs and you won't be disappointed and that's about it. If you have any questions, queries, concerns, you know, share them here in the group. And hopefully we can, when I say in the group, within the, the questions below, comments, what have you. And that's about it. Good luck. My next one is AZ203. And yeah, the 
the developer side of things. That's that's a really good thing. If you want to know, do you need to be able to do why do databases, especially if you're a DevOps, is because in in this world where we live in, you know, database is going to be more fundamental than ever before. You've got Internet of Things, you got artificial intelligence, um, you know, you got machine learning. All of those things are going to require some database functionality. Seriously, and the more you, the more you learn, the more you will earn, and the more you learn, the more you're going to add value to your, to your clients. So yeah, that's all I can say. Is it worth taking? It is worth taking. Trust me, it is. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I, I know a lot more than before of how to actually select what databases, what have you. But other than that, man, that's about it. You know, get stuck in. Let's go.